Greetings folks. Uh, today's going to be a short one. Uh, we've got a thunderstorm in southern Alabama. Humidity is crazy at like 90 something percent and yes I'm doing weird things with my mouth on purpose trying to exercise. Um, I got sore throat and I think a cold or flu or something's creeping up on me. So I'm drinking tea. i got my tea right here. Spirit's going to guide me to a story. I already got the book. It's called Many Lives, Many Masters. But I promised you all a video, even though I'm not feeling good. So I'm going to get this made. I'm going to get this uploaded. It's going to help somebody. And uh, even if I don't get the description uploaded, the video will be there. So if you're following my channel, you can share this with somebody who may need it. Okay. And this is where Spirit leaded me. Okay. So this might be a story, it might be a complete story, or it might just be part of a story. Uh, but it'll be what spirit needs to be. And thank you, Spirit, for surrounding us with love and light, protecting us from those who do us harm and guiding us uh, on a path for our greater good. Please bless this reading and help me to find the right information to share with the people to, for their greater upliftment. Thank you. We love you. And so it is. Blessed be. We begin on page 64. Catherine was now writhing in pain. She was also gagging from some terribly bitter potion that she was given to drink. The potion was made from yellow leaves. She healed, but the bones in her foot and her leg were never the same again. I progressed her in time. She saw only a bleak and poverty-stricken life. She lived with her family in a small one-room hut without a table. They ate some kind of rice, like a cereal but they were always hungry. She aged rapidly, never escaping the poverty of the hunger, and she died. I waited, but I could but I could see Catherine's exhaustion. Before I could awaken her, however, she told me that Robert Jared needed my help. I had no idea who Robert Jared was or how I could help him. There was no more. After awakening from the trance, Catherine again remembered many of the details of her past life recall. She remembered nothing at all of the after-death experiences, nothing from the in-between state, nothing of the masters, or of the incredible knowledge that had been revealed. I asked her a question. Catherine, what does the term masters mean to you? She thought this was a golf tournament. <laughs> she was improving rapidly now, but she still had difficulty integrating the concept of reincarnation into her theology. Therefore, I decided not to tell her about the masters yet. Besides, I wasn't sure how you broke the news to someone that she was an incredibly talented trance medium who could channel wonderful transcendental knowledge from the master spirits. And they're saying to end right there. Okay. So there we go. Uh, if you want to get the book and read further, if this is intriguing, the book is called Many Lives, Many Masters it's by Brian L. Weiss, MD, and you can find it on Amazon. Thank you. I hope this has helped somebody. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe uh, if you find this beneficial. And have a blessed day.